The later doctor. Hi guys, how you doing? I'm guessing you're doing pretty good, you know, the pump is nice, everybody's super excited and in this video I'm gonna show you four things. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this tweet that I did, you know, everything to the moon tweet. I posted down here, but you know, I didn't post up here or down here, I posted right here. I'm gonna explain to you why I posted where I did post it and why I said everything to the moon and not just, you know, Bitcoin to the moon. The second thing I'm gonna show you is from the previous video, you know, we are going towards the upside up here. Then we had some kind of pullback that we, you know, already knew it was coming and after that we are continuing to run upside. The third thing I'm gonna show you is uh, we're gonna talk about why this pump over here is a lot more important than this pump back here uh, because you see how people are reacting right now everybody's super excited everybody's super euphoric if that's uh, you know thing to say and it's it's looking very good but you know we already know, knew down here that something big is happening and we are already you know very happy down here but most people are happy on this pump here because this pump is technically a lot more significant I'm gonna show you why and the last thing I'm going to show you some uh, resistance level that, you know, you should be aware of now that we are going towards the upside. What's going to push, you know, Bitcoin uh, above, uh, you know, certain bullish levels and continue uh, that to towards the upside. Now, before we start doing this over here, there is a video I want you to look at because not a lot of people have, uh, you know, seen the video, only 530 views. Uh, this on my uh, channel page is called Bitcoin Dominance Explained. So if you want to know how to, you know, analyze the Bitcoin Dominance video, because people has been asking me, you know, hey man, can you analyze? Bitcoin dominance so it is a thing you know uh, you know an explanatory video on how you know analyze Bitcoin dominance so it's a good video to watch if you want to learn about you know Bitcoin dominance you know how you should analyze that that said guys that said let's start with the tweet let's start with everything and see everything uh, you know how it's going so far why is this pump so significant everything to the moon uh, right over here if you zoom in a little bit uh, down here you'll see here it's just before this big pump down here and if you go even down to the five minute chart you'll see it's uh, right up here uh, before this small pullback down and just blow off. I was actually thinking this is just gonna, you know, continue towards the upside, but if it's a small pullback and big move towards the upside, because I already knew that over here, you know, super bullish. Why were I super bullish here? I'm gonna explain to you. Now, there were a couple of reasons for that. If you look at a 10 moving average, this is the big reason up here. You know, I like moving averages and stuff like that. And you can see that uh, after this move towards the downside, we, you know, had this big candle up here and we closed this big candle above this 10 moving average up here, above this uh, white line. And once we did that I technically knew this is it guys this is it the Bitcoin shows uh, bullishness it shows continuation it's gonna go so I tweeted everything to the moon and I didn't just tweet you know Bitcoin to the moon I tweeted everything to the moon because everything is going towards the upside right now and right now you know you already seen on the altcoins that they are reacting with happiness and uh, you know green candles so everything to the moon guys and I'm not kidding everything to the moon so everything is gonna be looking very nicely so if you're not already following me on Twitter you know what to do because you know fun times guys fun times the next thing we're going to talk about is what happens in the previous video in previous video we are somewhere up here or something like that and we are saying that this is not a bull flag now bull flags i have to you know uh, uh say this again bull flags goes towards downside some kind of a, you know sideways motion some kind of a, a pattern before they continue uh you know, but when every time you see some kind of impulsive move and then you see flagging towards the upside uh towards the upside that usually means some kind of uh, you know uh, some kind of pullback is gonna happen now we were uh, extremely bullish up here so we didn't think this is just gonna go towards the downside uh we knew that you know it's just gonna be a pullback and we already were calling between uh, 48.5 and 47.5 down here because uh, certain moving averages so it was this range we are calling in the pullback we didn't actually know on the dollar where the pullback is gonna be sometimes you don't know that but you know it is you know it's uh, you know 48 levels down here the pullback did happen and once that pullback did happen we managed to climb up here you know and explode towards the upside so uh, from the last time we did the pullback right now we are you know bouncing really really hard towards the upside the third thing we're going to talk about why is this candle up here more important than this candle down here now this candle up here was very important to me at least you know i'm tech kind of analysis i like when bullishness starts hitting in i like figuring out the moment stuff happens and it was actually on this candle up here so you know i was super bullish down here uh, you can watch the pr previous video you know uh uh, that you know we have already been you know pretty confident that this is some kind of bottom we've been calling the bottom since down here uh, because we've seen some kind of oversold levels and stuff like that but why is this candle up here a lot more important than this candle so let me show you now you can see that, that, that this part over here broke the trend up here you know so we are bullish already because this trend is broken but there was a bigger trend that wasn't broken it's something like uh, goes something like down here you can see it up here you can see the tr trend up here and before this last candle you can see that we hit the, the we hit the 
line on the dollar up here on the dollar up here we hit the line on the dollar and we knew this had to come we knew this had to come and we didn't know how and every but everybody was still sitting down you know down uh, and waiting for this this move up here everybody was sitting and waiting for this move we were waiting for this move but everybody was waiting for this move and as soon as this move happened this means bullishness why does it mean bullishness because you are breaking the trend in technical analysis everything is about trend not everything like 99.7% is about trends and then you got 0.2% about uh, moving averages and then 0.01% uh, something like that uh, about 0.1% uh, about uh, indicator stuff like that doesn't matter everything is about trend lines so you can see this trend line up here very important trend line this is the downtrend this is the downtrend that you want to break so every time you can see here when we're, when we're doing this zigzag pattern up here we're trying to just break this towards the upside we felt that you know everybody was come on just a little bit get it up you know and we failed that and we went down when this move up here and right now we are breaking the same line that we tried to break previously but on this move up here we are actually breaking the trend what does it mean to break the trend it means that this downtrend is right now finished we can still continue down we can continue sideways we can continue up we can continue in different directions but we are not going with the same speed on the downside uh, again right now we have a new uh, new line of uh, support uh, technically not support yes because maybe we need some kind of uh, retest on the line I don't think we had a retest maybe just gonna uh, zigzag sideways but doesn't matter the trend is broken we are right now done with this uh, down move towards downside there was a huge amount of fear uh, down here so I'm looking for you know big moves towards the upside now we that brings us to the fourth uh, level you can see up here we are gaining getting getting above this uh, vip level up here uh vip level right now bitcoin is right now 4.75 percent in green the question is will we close above this level and these two levels are very important i'm going to explain to you these two levels very important break. I'm, I'm not uh, thinking that we're gonna break the weekly 20 moving average up here all the way up here at something uh, like 53,000 I'm not uh, you know I'm not that bullish on Bitcoin right now because that me would mean that Bitcoin has to do something like uh, you know 9% today uh, I don't think there is enough bullishness to do 9% in, in a day for Bitcoin but best case scenario for today is getting above the VIP level up here and that's this uh, uh, resistance up here that's this so uh, you know this resistance got broken over here these two resistance are we breaking right now so technically even above this resistance up here let me uh, draw a nice line up here so technically even above this line up here it would be nice but best case scenario vip level that's this one up here that's somewhere around uh, 50,000 right now 50,600 give or take if we can if bitcoin can manage to close above this vip level up here at 50.6 level up here uh maybe just maybe in our wildest dream we might just might pump you know uh in the next uh, what day is today today uh, today is uh, thursday so in the next three days we might just might get up to the, the uh, above 20 weekly moving average and that would be you know that would be the like the hugely best case scenario for bitcoin ever that would mean like we are gonna go to some insane numbers now before we uh, end the video i'm gonna show you here the moving averages up here on the weekly time frame and how this actually looks from the weekly uh perspective and you can see here that we went below the yellow line that's the 50 moving average right now we are bouncing back so technically technically speaking anything above this line up here on the weekly time frame is hugely bullish that's around 50,000. because what that means that we are getting a engulfing candle uh, over here that's a bullish hugely bullish signal now number one you're bouncing off the 50 moving average with the engulfing candle you're huge you don't even have to get above the 20 i mean i'm getting above the 20 it's, it's insane levels so you know that's kind of hope you're getting above 20 moving average in the next three days but if you can do that super nice that's why everybody's looking at this 53 le 53 000 level because that's you know 20 moving average but to me to me personally it's the 50,000 level this up here as long as we in the next three days are above this level up here guys <sighs> What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Moon? Jupiter? Pluto? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be good times, guys. So that's the reason why we are pumping today. That's why everybody is excited. Join me on Twitter, guys, because I post very funny uh, posts, you know, uh, exciting posts and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a nice weekend. You know, today is uh, 23rd, tomorrow 24th. So happy Christmas for everybody that celebrates the Christmas and stuff like that. See you around. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to post tomorrow, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do that. You know, there's a lot to, you know, when you got kids and stuff like that, you know, Christmas times, they're kind of busy, kind of busy. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you around. Bye bye. That was genius.
Thank you. Thank Great you. job. You guys did it. No, it's you.